Well, here we are with the uh, final of the plus 78 kilo category, Kim of Korea and Yamabe of Japan. And we saw such good technique earlier on from Yamabe. And I'm delighted to be joined by the Minister of Culture, Sport and Tourism, uh, Minister Oyen Gerel. How are you? How are you? I'm well, thanks. Thank very much. You managed to break away from your, your busy schedule to come and watch uh, the, uh, the, the finals then. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Well, I hope we're going to see a, a Mongolian in the, uh, the men's heavyweight final. S certainly for the men's bronze medals. Mm -hmm. There should be uh, uh, another uh, Mongolian medal then. You've had quite a few today. Sedef mm -hmm. Surin Munkzaya in mm -hmm. the under 70 kilo category. She took a silver medal. That should uh, please people. And Tumoylan uh, Batulga. Oh. <laughs> Batulga took a, a gold medal in the uh, under 100 kilo category, the same category as uh, uh, Naidan Tushinbaya. Uh -huh. Thank you for briefing. <laughs> right? Because I uh, unfortunately didn't have enough time to always be here and to watch. Well, it's been a reasonably successful day uh, today. I think the heavier weight's a little bit of a struggle. I just saw Dorjgotov as well, the long-standing heavyweight for Mongolia. Mm -hmm. She took a bronze medal uh, on that side. So, yeah, plenty of um, medals for uh, Mongolia today, and at least at least uh, one one gold. So you're going to get to so hear the what, national anthem. So what do you think about other countries? How do they participate? Well, and. It, it's is any any of every of our, our guests happy? I think they're all delighted. Everybody likes to come to Mongolia. It's uh, first first and foremost the very very first thing to think about is the quality of judo that you're going to get when you come to Mongolia. A lot of quality. So that's the reason that people like to come here. There's always mm -hmm. a high standard of judo with very very good fighters. Of course, the, we the have a uh, wrestling and judo technique probably in our blood. Uh, a fighting spirit. <laughs> fighting spirit and fighting tradition. And I, I think that's probably yeah. the case. Also, yeah. lots of encouragement from everybody who are watching. Uh, on our, our national televisions, we all watch judo. Yeah, we saw some, uh, some on the, uh, the, the, the replays. Do you know uh, that judo, judo, among all the sports, judo has a special spiritual connection to Mongolians because it also was... Uh, uh, the sport that brought first gold medal from Olympics. That was that was something that was uh, made uh, really clear to us because it was yeah. such a big thing to happen in uh, in Beijing, and it was quickly followed by was it in boxing or, uh -huh, or shooting? Yes. I think yes, yeah, probably yes. in boxing. But the first one uh, went to uh, the, the real hero here, uh, Tushin Bayer. Who, who's in the audience today? Yes, um, but recovering from that uh, that knee injury. Yeah, I think he uh, stressed his uh, his healthier knee too much to protect his uh, wounded leg from the past Olympics. Yeah, well, he had one in Beijing, one in, and then London. he did the other oh, one in London. He, he did so, so much for his country. He's, he's the, he's at, at the expense of his uh, knees. He did. He, he really did. As for, at the highest level, taking a gold medal is the big thing. And that was um, what Mongolia really wanted, because they had had medals before, but mm -hmm. never, never a gold. And I think he really um, it's he, he uh, put it on the map, if you like. It's, a, it's really, really tough to uh, get out. <laughs> Kim brings down Yamabe for mm -hmm. Yuko, and then immediately into yeah. the Yosai Kami, the hold. And Yamabe's not going to get up from there. She looks as though she's uh, suffering a little bit. You can oh, see on yes. her face that she's uh, yes. distressed. She's probably, it looks as though oh. it's the left shoulder oh, that's yes. hurt. She hasn't moved that at all. She's mm. got some movement with the right. But, um, oh, it's big counting now. Yeah, the left shoulder the is uh, trapped. Uh, that's Batulga from Mongolia. Oh. He's the um, bronze medalist from the World Championships in, uh, in Belgrade in 1989. There's a lovely story about that. I'm not going to go into it. It's too long, but uh, I saw him there in 1989. Mm -hmm. And then the next time I saw him was here in Mongolia about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. That was the referee in the middle. And I think uh, Yamabe has got some uh, problems with uh, the left shoulder. We'll see when she bows off. Yeah, I, I hope she's okay. <laughs> Just a little bit, uh, a little bit yeah. tentative there. Well, that was the... Um, the final 
of the plus 78 kilo coat. Yeah, she just lands oh, heavily yes. on the left elbow, which probably jams oh, yes, the, uh, yes. the left, Very the left, the left shoulder. Yeah. I think it's only fair that we get to uh, let the, the viewers at home see you and we can... Uh, <laughs>